Doing Maths Engineering. I'm Alan. In the last video we made this block that fits on top of your cross slide so you can put other attachments on there like vices or anything else that you want to make to fit it. In this video I'll be making another block that fits on top and a pin that goes through and the pin holds in the dovetail as well as locates in a bearing this is going to form part of a ball turning attachment that you can fit on that will screw in that holds the dovetail on and the bearing swivel on the top so in this video we'll make the top part and the bearing this bearing is one that was left over from when I changed the bearings on the lathe from the power drive unit it was okay but obviously it's been used a lot but for the a swivel attachment it'll be adequate for that so let's go into the workshop and see how we make the top slide got this in the four jaw chuck. This is held on this side by the jaw the normal way and on this side I'll put the jaw in backwards so it's resting on this face on the back. I couldn't put these in backwards because being narrower the inside of the jaw would be touching the opposite side and it wouldn't close down to grip the, the part. So I've had to leave two normal and two reversed jaws. So I've cleaned that up, now I'll drill a hole through the middle Don't bore all the way through Leave about three millimetre from the back face. Twenty four. I've turned it round in the chuck and just uh, clocked up the the bore. All I want to do now is just finish this bore off and face up this side so it's parallel with the other. It wants to be around 26. 25.98 that will be okay Just take the sharp edges off. We'll just have a recap The first thing we do is make the dovetail part of the slide which fits into the first block we made last thing we've made it was this piece 
which is basically steel block. We bored out the, the bore for this bearing which I've now pressed in. So that will go on the bottom. This will go on the top like that. So now we have to make the pin or the bolt that holds the two together so this can swivel. First thing we've done is put the three jaw chuck back on. And I've just put a piece of metal in the chuck that's about an inch diameter. Just clean the face up. Now I'm just roughing the outside down to just above three quarters. Seven, eight. So I'll change the tool back to high speed steel tool. Finish that off to eight millimeter. And this size, finish that down to 0.75, which should be a nice fit on the bearing. As the diameter is bigger, I'm slowed the speed down. Five thousand. So it just starts to go onto the block stops there so it's about halfway in the bearing this half fits that back half doesn't what I'll do is use some emery to polish it says it's just a thou under. Yeah, just go on. It'll just go on. I don't want to push it on because I'll have to take it off to finish the So what I need to do now is put the thread on this. I'll just clean the outside up there. It's ready for parting off when I've put the thread on. Corners off. I'm turning the headstock with a spanner on the expanding mandrel that's in the headstock. And using the spanner one end on the tail stock and this handle on the die stock. Turn it forward. I'll 
take that out of the shop and we'll see if it fits. This is the bottom plate with the dovetail in. That goes through the middle and screws the dovetail in position. And also that will pull into the bearing now. You can see it going down into the bearing. Now that's tight and you've just got enough play to move that. So there are the three pieces fitted together, the bearing, the uh, spindle and the dovetail on the bottom. You tighten the dovetail up and it pulls the spindle in and it should just give you a nice and the top should be clear. So what I need to make is probably a cover just to go over the bearing to stop Swarf filling in here. Oh well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Enox Engineering.